it's no secret that many animals have the potential to be incredibly dangerous and sometimes even deadly to a human. Every year, it is estimated that through bites, stings, and allergic reactions, venomous animals kill over 100,000 people. With people in less wealthy nations, such as sub-Saharan Africa and the Indian subcontinent, being most affected. However, aside from venomous animals, most other creatures would typically rather stay away from humans rather than attack us. Only a handful of crocodilians, polar bears, and some big cats will hunt humans from predatory instincts, with most other large carnivore attacks being defensive or territorial. So, out of curiosity, I decided to look into what predatory dinosaurs, specifically non-avian theropods, would be the biggest risk to people if they were resurrected today. Now, except for the end of the video, there won't really be a ranking of which theropods were deadliest to humans. And for extinct animals, which we can't study, it's kind of subjective as to what species were deadliest. Instead, I will look at which groups of theropods would be most likely to attack humans unprovoked, so either predatory or territorial attacks. For those wondering what megatheropods are, I have a video on them from last year. In short, they are theropod dinosaurs that weighed, on average, 5,000 kilograms or more. They aren't really a specific clade of organism, nor are they very formal outside of classification, but they are a good umbrella term for extremely large theropod dinosaurs. Megatheropods include genera such as Tyrannosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Spinosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and many more. Interestingly, megatheropods likely wouldn't be much of a risk to humans or human-sized animals. Consider that these were elephant-sized predators that likely couldn't outrun a human in a sprint. They could potentially catch a human in a long-distance chase, but the caloric intake would not be enough to counter the energy loss while chasing the person. As a result, Tyrannosaurus rex may have been docile towards a human, unless of course a human were to threaten its young or invade its territory. However, and there's always a however when it comes to dangerous animals, large vehicles such as utes, trucks and buses may be at higher risk of attack, as some theropods could mistake these motor vehicles for large creatures and as a result they could cause traffic jams just by destroying a single truck. Though the megatheropods were likely too large to even care about hunting humans, the same couldn't be said for a family of relatively large but incredibly fast theropods from the southern hemisphere. Meet the Abalosaurids, which include relatively famous genera such as Carnotaurus and Majungasaurus. The problem with facing any of these carnivores is that they were large enough to be a threat to humans, but small enough to be threatened by us. The largest abelosaurid with a name, Pycnonemosaurus, was only around 3.6 tons, which although much larger than any land predator today, could still make it a worthy predator to people. There were also much smaller abelosaurids than Pycnonemosaurus, including the 1,000 kilogram Majungasaurus, the 1,650 kilogram Abelosaurus, the 410 kilogram Rugops, and the 900 kilogram Rajasaurus, along with many, many more. Even worse for Homo sapiens, some species such as Carnotaurus sastre from Patagonia may have been able to reach incredibly fast speeds of 48 to 56 kilometers per hour or 30 to 35 miles an hour. These speeds could allow Carnotaurus to easily catch a human in a sprint or long distance chase. Similar genera such as Coloken, Pycnonemosaurus, Orcasaurus and Scorpio Veneta may have also been able to approach such speeds. 
And if they could, they would also dispatch a human with ease just by running them down. Also, let's not ignore Carnotaurus's bite force. A 2022 study estimated that the anterior bite force was around 3,392 newtons, while the posterior bite force was estimated at 7,172 newtons. That is higher than a mountain gorilla, jaguar, and even a grizzly bear. Yet again moving down in size, we move on to the Dromaeosaurids, which ranged in size wildly from the roughly one kilogram microraptor to the nearly half ton Utah raptor. Obviously, when it comes to threatening humans, we're looking at the Dromaeosaurids on the larger end of the scale. These were still large enough to easily kill a human, but again, small enough to see humans as a potential threat similar to a Balasaurids. The largest Dromaeosaurids that we're aware of and the largest ones that have names currently are the Utahraptor, Achillobator, Ostraraptor, and the possibly valid, though likely dubious, Dakotaraptor. All of these Dromaeosaurids approached an average polar bear in size, and they may have used their iconic sickle claws to perform their now widely believed killing tactic, Raptor Prey Restraint. Then there's the speed of these predators. Though likely not as fast as they were in Jurassic Park, large Dromaeosaurids could have still ran 15 to 20 miles or 24 to 32 kilometers per hour. That's not even counting smaller, smaller Dromaeosaurids, including Deinonychus, Velociraptor, Adasaurus, and Acroraptor. Just to name a few. Though these animals definitely wouldn't attack a human in a predatory manner, they still could attack in defence or in a territorial confrontation. If you're a hardcore fan of paleontology, then you've likely potentially heard of Megaraptor, or at least members of Megaraptoridae. Megaraptorids were not actually related to Dromaeosaurids, which were actually raptors, but they shared some similarities. One similarity is the strong curved claws possessed by both of these organisms. Though Megaraptorans didn't have sickle claws on their feet, they essentially had the exact same thing but on their hands. The titular genus Megaraptor had three claws, with the first claw being the longest at 35 centimetres or over a foot in length. Paleontologists believe that they used their thumb claws to grip onto and dispatch prey, tearing into their flesh. Depending on the size of the prey, they may have also used their two sickle claws on their toes to pin them down as well. Like with Carnotaurus, Megaraptorans, especially Megaraptor, could likely run incredibly fast for an animal of their size. It's difficult to find sources relating to exactly how fast Megaraptor was, as unlike Carnotaurus, studies haven't really been done on its top speed. However, the general consensus is that they could approach speeds much faster than what a human could accomplish, so they could easily catch up to even a sprinter. To conclude this brief look at a variety of predatory theropod dinosaurs, I'd just like to give some shout outs to other theropods, which were pretty similar to creatures mentioned in the video so far. Troodontids, which included genera such as Stenonychosaurus and Pectinodon, would have likely been just as much of a threat to humans as smaller Dromaeosaurids. Though they are on average much lighter and much more delicate than their bulkier Dromaeosaurid counterparts, they could still be a threat to human children and weaker individuals. Smaller genera of Tyrannosauroids, including Aleoramus and Chansaurus, and even juvenile Tyrannosaurus rex, were all fast, nimble hunters of human-sized prey with the potential that they hunted in unorganised gangs similar to Komodo dragons. 
Similar to a Balasaurids and Megaraptorans, they were speed demons compared to their larger relatives. You could even make the argument that the larger but still lightweight hunters such as Dilophosaurus, Ceratosaurus, and Crylophosaurus could also kill a human with ease. With all other creatures that I didn't mention in the main video now being added to the list, let's reveal the final ranking. In first place, the deadliest dinosaur to a human would be the Megaraptorans. They're the perfect blend of speed, strength, and ferocity, which lands them in gold place. Imagine a hunter twice the weight of a polar bear with claws longer than your feet, with the speed of an Olympic athlete. Assuming you managed to come across a hungry or territorial Megaraptoran, you'd be screwed before you even saw it. The next most dangerous group of theropods would be the Dromaeosaurids. The larger Dromaeosaurids were as large as bears and could run as fast as an Olympic athlete. And they could hunt like a bird of prey using their sickle claws to grip the flesh of prey as they tear it apart with their mouths. Finally, the third most dangerous carnivorous dinosaurs to a human, in my opinion, were the Abelosaurids, particularly Carnotaurus and its closest relatives. These were rhinoceros-sized hunters with the speed and bite force of a grizzly bear each. What do you think of this video's ranking? Keep in mind, this video has a narrow range of dinosaur genera, only including predatory non-avian theropods. Not only does it exclude extinct avian dinosaurs such as pterobirds and herbivorous dinosaurs, but it also excludes herbivorous or omnivorous theropods, which include Dinochirus, Gallimimus, and even Therizinosaurus. So this video's sample size isn't that good after all. Regardless, that's my ranking of what I believe to be the deadliest predatory dinosaurs to a human. Sorry if this video wasn't very long, but maybe I could do a follow-up on herbivorous dinosaurs in the future. Anyway, what video should I do next? A paleo profile, another speculative sounds video, or do you want to see a follow-up to this one? Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.